So this would have been one nest? Yes, so this is one nest. As you can see, there's white developing on these eggs, which means that they're developing. Um, these eggs here, these five, are not developing, so um, they're most likely some of the infertile eggs. Alyssa Fraser is a conservation technician at the Rare Charitable Research Reserve. She recently received a permit from the Ministry of Natural Resources to allow her to be one of a few who are trained to assess the dangers faced by turtle nests and remove them if deemed necessary. She will definitely be busy because right here inside this incubator are 700 turtle eggs. A lot of my nests come from, say, a really busy social trail where uh, people are constantly walking and biking over it or the shoulder of a road where someone might drive over it or in a lot of instances there's a construction crew that's on site and in a couple of days they're going to be paving over it. So you know that these turtles aren't going to be able to survive. But to raise these eggs successfully, they have to be kept in very specific conditions. We keep our temperature at 84 degrees so that we'll um, hatch more females than males because they're more um, important for furthering the population because they're the ones who carry the eggs and lay them. But even though these turtles will have a better chance of hatching in the incubator than in the wild, their chances of survival once released when they're a couple of days old is unfortunately extremely slim. This is a mature adult um, and as mentioned only about one in 100 embryos will actually make it to sexual maturity, which is around 18 to 20 years old. Not only do the eggs have a lot of um, predators and issues with compaction and construction sites and things like that, but the adults themselves face a lot of threats and the hatchlings. Well, once they've hatched, it will only take a couple of days to release them all back to areas like this where they were found. In Cambridge, Audra Brown, City News.